here swans myself gangadhar so i'm ke and i welcome you all to the mc gems virtual classroom my dear swans today in 6th standard geography we'll be learning the topic let us use the graticule in the first chapter of geography the earth and the graticule we have learned about the concept of graticule and now in this topic we are going to talk about how to use the graticule and for this in our textbook figure 2.1 in which the globe is given and questions based on it are given so the first question which we have to answer by observing the globe what are the horizontal lines on the globe called what are the horizontal lines on the globe are called and the answer is parallels of latitude then the second one list the continents and oceans through which the equator passes we have to list the continents and oceans through which the equator passes and our answer is if we talk about the continents then south america africa and asia are the continents through which the equator passes and ocean it is atlantic ocean and pacific ocean through which the equator passes which oceans are spread in all the four hemispheres which oceans are spread in all the four hemispheres for that first thing which we have to understand is that about the hemispheres here you can see southern hemisphere northern hemisphere tropic of cancer equator tropic of capricorn antarctic circle arctic circle south pole and north pole now for this question which oceans are spread in all the four hemispheres that is atlantic and pacific ocean which continents are spread in all the four hemispheres not a single continent is spread in all the four hemispheres at which two parallels do all the meridians converge all the meridians converge at north pole and south pole here you can see north pole south pole now when we talk about various places regions rivers roads etc as we are actually talking with reference to the earth jab bhi hum kisi jagah ki baat karte hain to hum earth ke bare mein baat karte hain the location of a place the location of a place the extent of a region and the extent of any linear feature can be described precisely with the help of parallels and meridians exact location if you want then it is very important to give it by using parallels and meridians we'll see how it works as you can see on the screen parallels and meridians while describing the location of a place we need to consider only one parallel and one meridian for example if we talk about the location of delhi it is located at 28 degrees 36 minutes 50 seconds north latitude 
and 77 degrees 12 minutes 3 seconds east longitude. So, the exact location of Delhi. And for describing, here you can see that in the image also. For describing the extent of a region, we need to consider two parallels and two meridians at the extreme ends of the region. If we are talking about location of a place, then only one parallel and one meridian. And when we are talking about extent of a region, then two parallels and two meridians. For example, here you can see the extent of Australia is described as 10 degree 30 minutes south to 43 degree 39 minutes south latitude and 113 degrees east to 153 degrees east longitude. So, for describing the extent of linear features like a river, road, it is linear in shape. We need to consider the latitude and longitude of their terminal points. For example, the river Nile in Africa originates in Lake Victoria flows north and meets at the Mediterranean Sea near the city of Alexandria in Egypt. The location of Lake Victoria is 0 degree 45 minutes 21 seconds south latitude and 33 degree 26 minutes 18 seconds east longitude. Here now the next thing, let us use the graticule and for that figure 2.4 which is given in our textbook about important circles or important parallels and meridians. Here now area of perpendicular rays, then area of slanting rays that is day up to 24 hours here this one and then the area of very slanting rays that is duration of day more than 24 hours this one here north pole south pole 66 degrees 30 minutes north that is arctic circle then here 180 degrees longitude 23 degree 30 minutes north tropic of cancer and this one very important to keep in mind 0 degrees that is equator 23 degrees 30 minutes that is tropic of capricorn and here 66 degrees 30 minutes south that is Antarctic circle. So, these are the very important things to keep in mind while studying geography. And now let us get acquainted with some important parallels and meridians. All places between 23 degree 30 minutes north and south of equator receive perpendicular rays on two days in a year. Other areas of the earth never get perpendicular rays. The parallels at 23 degree 30 minutes north and 23 degrees 30 seconds south of equator are called Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn respectively. Here you can see. Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn. So, it is easy to understand it with the help of 
figures or diagrams or pictures or images. The parallels at 66 degree 30 minutes north and south of the equator are also important parallels in the area between these two parallels throughout the year daytime last within the limit of 24 hours and these are called the arctic circle and the antarctic circle arctic circle antarctic circle next thing depending on the seasons daytime that is sun being visible in the sky can be greater than 24 hours in the areas between the polar circles and the poles the maximum duration of the sun's appearance in the sky can be six months at the poles based on the seasons so during this period the sun continues to move in a spiral on the horizon now we have seen in standard fib that the earth's axis is inclined and these important parallels arise because of its inclination by 23 degrees 30 minutes so due to the duration and not only due to the duration but because of intensity of sunlight temperature zones are formed on the earth and the zones give rise to pressure belts about this you will study in the further standards but here keep in mind about the pressure belts and the temperature zones here you can see in the image different temperature zones are formed due to the duration and intensity of sunlight variation in the intensity of sunlight leads to regional diversity in plant and animal life this is very interesting and important thing to keep in mind and to learn बहुत सारे एनिमल्स ऐसे हैं बहुत सारे प्लांट के स्पेसीज ऐसे हैं जो किसी एक पर्टिकुलर रीजन में मिलते हैं या फिर किसी एक कंट्री में मिलते हैं किसी दूसरे देश में नहीं मिलते हैं तो कहीं पर होते हैं जैसे कांगारूज है या फिर इफ यू कैन टॉक अबाउट प्लांट्स आल्सो एंड इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ द वेरिएशन इन द इंटेंसिटी ऑफ सनलाइट देन द नेक्स्ट थिंग द जीरो डिग्री longitude or prime meridian is an important meridian the main purpose of this is to fix the global standard time and coordinate the standard times of different countries so it is for the time to consider the time or to fix the time this meridian is also called as greenwich meridian global standard time is known as gmt that is greenwich mean time so this zero degree longitude is important for the time purpose here you can see in the image here also then the next thing the prime meridian the 180 degree meridian is also important from the prime meridian other meridians are marked east and west up to 180 degrees the 180 degrees meridian lies opposite to the prime meridian so in general we can say it divides the earth in half two it is also zero degree it passes through the community of greenwich england the international dateline is marked with reference to this meridian here now again you can see in the image the 180 degree meridian this one here from the prime meridian other meridians are marked east and west up to 180 degree it lies opposite to the 
prime meridian and the international date line is marked with reference to this meridian. And the last point of the lesson, the equator as well as all pairs of opposite meridians form great circles. Here now, again, you can easily understand it with the images. Great circles are used for finding the minimum distance between any two places on the surface of the earth. Here now again, if you observe can understand easily. A plane intersecting the globe along a great circle divides the globe into equal halves and passes through its center. So it is useful for finding the minimum distance between any two places. So now today we are going to stop here only but in the next session we will talk about the next topic of social studies. Subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get notifications. So my dear one, this is all for today. Thank you very much. Stay home, stay safe. Take care.